Welcome to Hardcore Garage. We've got a new one here. This is our newest dog, Veronica Sawyer, or better known as Ronnie. You guys can check into Heather's movie from the 80s and you'll get the, the reference. <laughs> but uh, just wanted to say hi and we're going to do another magazine flip through for you guys today. I believe August of 1989, Truck and Magazine. Let's go do it. All right. We've got August. 1989 by this time I don't know if I had my S10 just yet or not I definitely had bought it it was near the end of 89 and it was before winter so it was probably in August or September I really need to dig up my paperwork and see when I bought it <clears throat> showroom concept pickups in Detroit catching on the F100 parts guide Nova frame clip for a chassis Coco Beach Mini Madness, The River Run. We got the dogs acting silly back in there. We got the shock eye there. That's awesome. Stillin <laughs> Toyota there with the Renault R5s. R9s, sorry. <laughs> oh. Vehicle Security Electronics. This is pretty wild. Look, we had some electronic controlled shocks. Toppers, pretty cool stuff there. Nice big trophies. That was some sweet 3D graphics here. If you guys can see that, looking like Han Solo or a motorcycle that's got a little too close. I know that uh, probably still owe these guys some money. <laughs> BMG in Columbia House. Don't act like you didn't. Owe the money too at one time. <laughs> Concept dealership vehicles. Probably a nice little read there. See Carol Shelby's name mentioned in there. Competition sales. These are the same old ads that we are used to seeing now on these. All right, yeah, good dog, good dog. Looks like his dog is painting there. We got the reader's wrap. Low Buck S10. My dogs are silly, ain't they? The drop shop. This is some new products coming out. Got the Dakota ground effect kit there. Some, some uh, I don't know if you want to call them billet just yet. They were more just like tubed grills at, the, at that point. Of course, we got a flush tonneau here too. Trunk in a trunk. <laughs> that dog is funny, isn't it? Gee, that's a tough question. It's not easy to lower a full-size Ford pickup. <laughs> Going for the man on the mountain. Ground zero effects. People are starting to um, find some of these old grills. Really crappy material, but they're still cool to have them. Radical tops. Their ads were always pretty sweet, even if the products were mostly junk back then. They uh, they were very innovative. Let's just let's leave it at that. How about that? Everyone loves a Targa extended cab. Of course, they're showing you the cutaways of their uh, convertible kits there and stuff. Pretty nice four wheel drive. That boy loves to get his meals through a drive in window. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Look at there, the hurricane heat and cool combo. S10 V8 conversion manuals, Dakota convertible there, today's trucks, got your western chassis, just mini trucking, it's like racing street trucks off-road, but not exactly, okay, <laughs> of course we got the epic chrome trim, and you'd have to have the chrome 8 inch rockers on there too, get all blinged out, it's funny how we Spent the first part of mini truck and dechroming, and the second part of mini truck and rechroming. <laughs> Cocoa Beach Madness. Look at all that color: pinks, yellows, blues, reds. That is what it's all about, right there, folks. Colorful, colorful trucks. To me, that's what mini trucking is—not skulls and flames and dark stuff. It's cartoons and and, and fun and and things like that. <laughs> At least that, that's where it was in my life at the time. You know, the neon colors being real big. Just married. 
What do we got over here? J&M Motorsport Accessories. A little bit of everything there in their ads. Stilling. Of course, the blazer is bad. Bad to the bone. All their kits looked really, really good, honestly. And they were nice made. Of course, you had the, the, the blazer kit was all urethane. Most of the other kits, the front air dam were urethane. And the side skirts and rears were fiberglass. I'm not sure what their reasoning behind... You know, of course, the air dam is going to take a beating, but I don't know why the blazer effects wouldn't have been fiberglass as well. And the rear corners on the blazer are urethane, too. Kind of strange. Here we got another, the Shelby Dakota. Of course, the Boyd Covington GMC. Boyd was always building some really nice, neat vehicles. All uh, Usually stuff looked like it was rolled right off the factory, you know assembly line or whatever. We're at ASC here. I wonder what they were doing. 1,500 units. So ASC did something for them, but I don't see a sunroof in that thing. Maybe I'll have to read up on that, huh? There's performance parts. 94 runner. Oh yeah. Drawing up some renderings of what the four runner would look like slammed. Oh yeah. You know, we're going to love some blazer. It's an interesting kit there. I think that's an East Coast Customs kit on that one. I really dig that paint job. Of course, I had some of these uh, <laughs> moon discs, racing discs, whatever you want to call them. I had some of those on. I don't think I ever run them on any of the trucks, but I had some on my cars back in the day when you couldn't afford wheels. You just didn't want stock. Anything but stock. Southern Fried Minis is what this section's called here. The moss is looking good. A little bit of a craziness there. Got the quicker kit. Really radical looking ground effects kit, more of like a, I don't know, sta not stadium truck, but something that would, where they'd be racing, you know, the, or is it called NAS trucks <laughs> instead of NASCARs? High mount, Testarossa style, uh, turbo racing mirrors. Love that visor. Love the visor. I love all the splash graphics. I probably wouldn't have loved that back in the day if they were stickers, if that was paint, two different things. Nowadays, either way is, is great, I think. That that that's questionable for me there. <laughs> Check out the interior of the blue and white stripes. That is totally pimp on the S10 interior there, guys. Now let's let, let's not leave out the Mazda here. Let's look at the interior on it real quick. Pretty nice. Not doesn't count to this, but yeah. Got another Toyota and a Mazda Cab Plus. Very nice fat chrome rockers. They got the whole chrome Toyota front end going on in that one. With the weld wheels there, early style. Painters put French antennas. That's some stuff we brought in from the 50s customs. Side swing tailgate. So you got the Craggers there on that one, which was a hot rodder type thing. I can remember a buddy of mine riding around in like a 70, 76, 72, some of the early, really round body Monte Carlos all jacked up in the rear with the Craiger. SS Classics. <laughs> Mild to wild. Get your parts there. Might want to uh, pause that and just take you a little gander through there. Some nice stuff. Got the old truck bed tent. Body lift in the Toyota. If you're going to do a body lift, you got to do it right so you don't have bumper gap. That looks silly. Not a real fan of the body lifts, but I get it. TJ's custom truck accessories. Here we got the River Run. Looks like a little bit older crowd with older, older customs in '89. Anyway, these people are my age now, or I'm their age now. I'm calling them older people. <laughs> Pink Panther. Here we go. Hot tops. You guys have seen that before. Check that out, boys. 82 S10. I really dig those graphics. A lot. Got the Stillen kit on it. Camaro wheels. Rapid fire. Yeah, real nice look there. Shaved her in. Look like an El Camino. Single exhaust coming out. Or, no, that's a hitch. Exhaust is down here. Nobody drops them like Beltec. 
so fine. Yes. <laughs> Another pretty cool ad here. Look, 199 easy one hour installation for the power slider. I would not sell my NOS power slider for $2,000. <laughs> they were only $200 back in the day. 4-3 engine swaps. Don't hear people doing that too much, do you? I like this ad here, the snug top. Auto Visions. Very uh, clean looking truck there. S10, I assume, is what that's supposed to be. Auto Direct. Auto FX Direct to Canada. For all my Canadian people. There you go. Hit them up. See if they're still in business. 604-861-5202. That'll be hilarious if they're still in business. Hot Rod Parts. Summit Racing. Snip Snip. It's a Nova Clip. That's some stuff you don't see too many people doing these days. Is you know, Doing clip swaps. Front, rear, whatever. Parts. GM Motorsports, get your GM authorized custom parts. Really cool old 50s trucks there, 57, both of them. Very nice, very nice. Beauty and the Beast. Traders. Viperize your truck. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember what the brand name of that was. Oh, uh, DEI. <laughs> we used to say when you when you hear people chirp them because they had those ones that had all of the different sounds, like six different sounds and sirens. <laughs> but we'd say cheap alarm, cheap alarm. <laughs> Pretty cool light bar there. There they are, the CR CR Lawrence power sliders. I ain't seeing no uh, power lights there, but definitely cool. Got the scissor lift on the four-wheel drive Skyrider. Always wanted me one of these for, for camping. That way people couldn't screw with you. You'd go to sleep and have a remote up inside and just raise her up. You don't see much camping too many at too many shows these days either, but there's still a couple out there. Of course, Texas Tales are my heart. <laughs> East Coast Customs. Actually, it's called Carolina Classics, but I'm sure that's East Coast Customs pictures even. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? Truck effects. We should just go through and call every number in this book one time and see who's still in business. Nissan. Custom aluminum grills. And the Super Trap. I haven't seen one of them in years. Somebody run one of them on your trucks again. I think they were more or less... Super Trap was like a four-wheeler exhaust or something back in the day. Three-wheelers. Finding parts for your F100. Now it should be finding, finding parts for your Chevy S10. Digging through dirt and grime and grease in the junkyard to try to find some nice stuff. Because you can't find it anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the one with the white bra again. Nice blazer too. Car Customs, get your parts, get your parts. Everybody's got the parts you want, buddy. Low Rider Hydraulics. Get your Z-Rack, double diamond Z-Rack kit for 800 bucks. And the Dancing Bed Kit for 1,020. Some assembly required. The first electric rag top. Now, I don't remember this at all, but that's awesome. I wish I knew what they were putting it on here. That would be freaking cool to watch. Oh, yeah. 56 Ford. It's a pretty, pretty truck. Nice wood bed with the chrome strips. Trailmaster. KC Customs. The Mini Truck Jamboree and Crank It Up Contest. The first annual. You can't have a first annual, guys. That's, that's, that's really bad grammar. <laughs> Sunshine, convertible tops. You call them rags, we call them drops. The mags, power windows, easy. Not 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 hard power, power windows, they're easy power windows. 
Wildcat Flash, Chrome Everything, Johnny's Accessories, get your hyper chips for whatever you drove, California Look Mirrors, what do we got here, Station One, yeah, yeah, that's a good looking Mazda there, oh, the last nice full size Chevy body. <laughs> mild to wild that's pretty cool it's got like a like a safari top or something just just a little bit of the roof over the top of them it's like the, the opposite of a targa everything else is missing we're getting to the end here fellas and ladies Got the Russell Grill. We've seen them before too. Spoilers are us. Kind of an interesting one here. There's probably so much stuff out there that, that you could never have one of everything. As far as like if you wanted, I try to collect one of every glass back window. I'm still missing my flex through, but there, there, I bet you there's other glass windows that I don't even know exist. Pop top minis making their convertibles. Sunline Distribution. There were so many convertible companies. You have to wonder if they weren't all using the same products or if there was really that many people trying to do it. And it sucks that none of them are still around. The readers, renderings, always nice. Pretty cool blazer there. Happenings, when you wanted to find out where all the car shows were going to be. Some sick van players there. Of course, the snug tops, always the best. California Truck Jamboree now. That's a trophy. Looks like about six, maybe seven foot tall. The party pin. Party pin for $4.95. And you got the rear Ferrari looking rear deck with the wing for $3.85. I wish I had me one of them too. <laughs> More happenings. Custom made speaker boxes for different vehicles. And these ads in the back are kind of kind of dark really get to see them too much do you with the sammy effects there louvers and stainless and cop stoppers whatever that is radar jammer something another's it's just some cool old ads there Got the sleeper i'm always going to point that one out our ad index and our last ad here top line Got the mags, the boomerang antenna, the custom floor mats, your wheels, and double wipers. Oh, I was wrong. I thought for sure that was the last ad. Huh? Somebody threw some extra colored laminated ads in here. The USA 1 convertibles with the colored color matching top. That's bad. Badass. Of course, X10. We all love them. And some more Coachworks. I think that's the same ad that was on the last well, there you go, guys. August 1989. Where were you? Were you alive yet? Uh-huh. Yep. I'll be there. See ya. <laughs> well, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough there of Truckin' Magazine. And if you are into those walk walkthroughs, flip flip throughs of the magazines, and you want to see some mini trucking flip throughs, make sure and check out the Our Lifestyle Podcast. ODB does all kinds of the old trucking magazine flip, mini trucking magazine flip throughs, and you will enjoy them. I guarantee it. He tells a lot of stories while he's doing it. I don't have quite as many stories as he does. I just like to see the ads and stuff like that. But if you are into that, go check him out. Tell him I sent you. Real good guy. And you can also watch uh, my episode of the on the podcast there. <laughs> Y'all take it easy. Remember, subscribe, like. Comment, share, blah, blah, blah. Have a great weekend or week, whatever it is. Y'all take it easy. Keep on trucking.